Welcome to The Near Memo, a weekly conversation about search, social, and commerce. What happened, why it matters, and the implications for local. <laughs> well, we're in a period of transition with COVID once again, and businesses are put on that middle, you know, in the middle of that. The CDC a couple of weeks ago said that if you're vaccinated, you don't need to wear masks. I think it was meant as a way of incentivizing those who aren't vaccinated to you know, get vaccinated, but it puts businesses in the middle and it creates this weird dynamic as people are moving back to business. And that sort of topic interests me because I went for both a dentist visit and a haircut. And in both situations, I felt like the business put their needs in this transition before mine. And it struck me that coming back to a business after 18 months away, it's almost like I'm seeing that business for the first time and their opportunity to impress me with their yeah. concern about me is critical and they weren't concerned. And then in light of that, then I saw these two articles this week. One was Houston Methodist where employees sued the, com- the hospital because they required vaccines and the judge- Which is absurd. Which totally is absurd. absurd. And they, they, the claim of the employees was that this is like the Nazis testing on the Jews and the Holocaust. And the judge said it's exa- this is- It's exactly this, like that. It's despicable. You can go work someplace else. And they all got fired, reinforcing the CDC ruling that businesses do have the right to demand it. And then Morgan Stanley said, look, we're opening our offices back up. Employees and customers who are vaccinated can come in. Everybody else stay out. So it's this- what? It's important from my point of view that businesses, one, get clarity about what they want to do, two, communicate to their employees so their employees don't bullshit customers and make them feel unsafe, and that they they publicly make this policy visible. Otherwise, they run the risk of losing customers, which are just now starting to reenter the economy in force. I, I, I totally agree that you're you're being reintroduced to these businesses. I mean, uh it's, it's a, it's a, it's a, you, the business almost has to reacquire the customer. Exactly. And um, so I do think that for some number of people, you know, I don't know what the number is, 25%, 30% really care about the safety issues. I think probably the majority at this point are less concerned about it. I mean, you're, you're, you're pretty sensitive to it. I am uh, sensitive to a business treating that issue in a cavalier way and communicating about it cavalierly. I, I just want the choice, right, to know what their policy is going in. I can then make an informed decision. Right. And for sure. Um, the, the, thing, the thing that's happening, though, that's interesting is that there are a lot of, um, uh, you know, there are a lot of people that are just going to cheat, free riders, right? They're going to just take the mask off. They're not vaccinated. They're, they're just right. going to abuse the, 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 the situation. People, people are, there is violence around this. I mean, there's, there's, it's, it's, it's not common, but there have been altercations. And I think in one case, somebody was shot and maybe even killed over a mask dispute, which is one of the challenges of asking the business to enforce, to enforce this. It it is. And they're put in a very awkward position by both the CDC and state governments, but I think they have no choice given the fact that they might lose clients. And I would suggest that the, the risk of dying from a, a nutcase shooting you is much less than the risk of dying from variation Delta, right? D- so depends on what state you're in. Well, where I live, which is I'm surrounded by three counties that have the lowest vaccination rates in Pennsylvania and New York. And it's like, you know, these are, we're talking 45, 50% vaccination rates for first timers and it's low here. So it is an issue. And we'll, I think businesses need to face it head on. Whatever they decide, they need to be explicit about it. And I will, in our, constant quest to end on a positive note. I will um, share an anecdote from my recent road trip to Eastern Washington last weekend. Uh, Thank you guys for covering uh, for me last week on the the near memo. Um, Came across two chains, a gas station and a fast food restaurant in sort of central, north central or northeastern Oregon. Um, Not exactly what you'd expect to be sort of, you know, top of the vaccination rate list. Both had major signage on their front door saying masks required. Um, you know, this is a, you know, big, huge neon fluorescent paper sign, you know, hand, handmade sign saying masks required. Uh, the fast food place didn't even, wasn't even open, uh, the, the restaurant to sit down. Um, you had to basically order on your phone uh, and pick up the order from the employee uh, at the door or go through the drive through. 
Um, and both of those actually make me more likely to visit those uh, those specific businesses when I'm on my semi-annual or, or biannual road trip uh, out to play golf in, in eastern Washington. So um, I think that the, there is an opportunity uh, for businesses who do take customer safety seriously to actually win new customers. Um, we are in this um, this sort of, you know, inflection point, I think, with respect to the economy reopening up that now is actually a great opportunity to win new customers and to engage them uh, in a loyalty program, as we've said on previous podcasts. So I think that this is definitely a, a two-sided coin here. Um, you can turn a customer away like Mike or turn them off, uh, or you can recruit one like me uh, with a good and obvious uh, masking policy and, and COVID safety guidelines. Exactly. And I think every business needs to think about it and do it, right? Well, and I think, Mike, you should reconsider going to Dennis barber shops you know the kind of hybrid <laughs> seems like a bad combo <laughs> it's like the theme park and uh, funeral home that was at our one of our very I just, early local use <laughs> yeah. it, it wasn't a combo i two different places got treated but similarly scary results uh, and both were i was in great need of both both the haircut and i wasn't in great need of the dental check but i thought time to get a checkup so but i'm here to say that my hair looks great my teeth are fine yeah. All right. Okay. We're happy All right. to hear Good. both of those. Yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> All right. Um, as always, uh, have a great week or weekend whenever you're listening to this, and we will see you next week. Thanks, everyone. Thanks for joining David, Mike, and Greg. To stay on top of the latest developments in local, subscribe to our newsletter at nearmedia.co. We'll see you next week.